to Caroline's Closet, part number six. Yowzers, still nine bags to go, and I'm just going to get started going through all of this stuff. Pull this one down here. <coughs> so once again, recap, I spent $550, bought 920 items, clothes mentor leftovers from their clearance event. These are White House Black Market, size eight, gray dress pants. So these are things that did not sell for 30% off, 50% off, 70% off. They did not sell for their $3 day, their $2 day, or their $1 day. And I got them. These are St. John's Bay, size 24W. Navy blue. Dress pants. I've got one more giant box packed and ready to go to swap. Um, I am waiting. I ordered three more uh, thread up, three, yeah, three more thread up bags. Uh, this time I'm having them send me the bags because they do that for free. And I'm running it low on big boxes from all my swap boxes. So Mark Bauer Unlimited, size 3X. I do not know Mark Bauer. They seem good quality, and they have these really fun embroidered uh, ankles. I like those. <clears throat> Swap still has not processed the box that I sent them that they received January 21st. Today is February 21st. Uh, it does say when you send them in that it could be like six weeks or something. Uh, but before they were processing them all within a week. So Michael Kors, size four, pants. Can easily get 20 on those. J. Crew, size 29, good size. Basic blue jean. Hate selling basic blue jeans. There is, oh, there's a lot. This is all pants, I guess. And then there's another bag that I think this one here is mainly jeans. <sighs> so many jeans. These I don't mind because they're colored. Gap size 25. They have the raw hem. I can probably get 12 to 15 on those. I just need something other than basic, you know? I don't care if it's tan or blue or pink or patterned. It has to be something other than basic. These are brand new. Lane Bryant, size 22, crop, teal, pants. Those I can probably get 20 bucks on. This is Lane Bryant, size 28. So apparently I am in the plus size section. These are just black, not quite jeans, dress pants. I made a comment and it was one of my first ever videos, like ever, ever, ever. Um, made a comment about hating to photograph plus size clothing and I think in that video it happened to be a black dress that was like a size 28 and I commented that it's just impossible to make it look good meaning to take the pictures and make the pictures look good and I got a really hateful response that I was like body shaming fat people and I was even bigger two years ago when I started doing videos than I am now I've always been a big girl. I'm not fat shaming anybody. I'm not, it, I didn't say that the clothes didn't look good on people. I said it was a, impossible for me to make them look good. I don't have a size 28 mannequin to put them on. So if I put them on my mannequin, who happens to fit best in a size four, they just hang. 
if I try to hang them up on a hanger, they just hang. If I clip two different hangers to the sides, then I look like, I don't know. If I lay them out on the floor, it's hard for me to get it to fit in my camera. So yes, I hate photographing <laughs> plus size clothing and trying to make it look good uh, to an extent. These are Lane Bryant, size 26, especially if it's just something that's all black or plain. You just can't, uh, unless you have a good plus size model to wear it for you. <coughs> Impossible. And no, I don't mean to offend anybody. But look, I have another security tag. <coughs> Sorry. Chico's. 0.5, which is about a size 4 or 6, and it will go in my, hanging on the edge of the box, but I made it in my security tag pile. I think that makes piece number 6 now. Land's End, size 20, corduroys, just a nice gray corduroy. Those I like to list. I don't know that I have ever once in my life owned or worn a pair of corduroy pants. It's not me, I guess. I don't know. Don't know why. Pure Jill. Size medium. Just some little athleisure capri fake jean looking pants. 15 to 20 dollars on those. I know I haven't been saying what I think I'll get for most of this stuff. I'm sorry. Uh, some of it I have no clue. <clears throat> a lot of it that I'm sending in to swap or thread up, I might only get two dollars a piece for, but my cost is less than a dollar. So, new look, size medium. I would guess that these would go in my five for 20 sale on Poshmark or 10 bucks or so on eBay. I like selling these like lounge pants type things. Melissa Page, size medium. Those are fun. Maybe 12 to $15 on those. Comfy loungy pants do well for me. <coughs> and there seems to be a lot of those in here. Divided by H&M, size 12. Pretty blue and teal. Probably 12 bucks. Black and white pair. I don't see a tag. Here we go. One size. But no brand tag. One size, so basically a medium. <laughs> I don't know why they don't just put, we fit a medium. I mean, maybe a small. Small or medium. That's what one size is. Maybe a small large. Hey, hey. I don't know, hey, hey. Hi, hi. Hi, hi, hey, hey. Size 30. Those are fun. They have like crochet down the leg. They are kind of see-through, so you definitely would not want to wear bright pink underwear. I don't understand why anybody would want pants or, you know, a shirt's fine if it's like one that's meant to be worn with a sports bra or something, but why would you want pants that you can see through? I mean, these might be good maybe over a bathing suit on the beach or something. I certainly would feel very self-conscious all the time knowing that people could see my underwear. Dahlia, size 18. Those are a nice, fun, patterned pant. Checking for security tags. 
15 bucks on those. Um, <clears throat> Love Tree. Size large, black and white, fun, loungy, pajama y pant, super light. Ooh, these are pretty. Worthington, size 14. It's just a JCPenney brand. Floral pant, probably twelve to fifteen dollars for those. <coughs> oh, my pants! Chicos, size point five, so about a size four or six. Although these look a little bigger, so maybe six or eight. They feel very linen-y. See what they are. 100% linen. So those I can probably get 20 to 25 on. I've never really understood the appeal of linen, except for maybe on the beach. Or, I mean, I know it's like very breathable and I just, it doesn't feel like it would be comfortable or I don't know. So we'll add that to my corduroys. I've never owned a pair of linen pants. I do think I had a linen button-up shirt, but I always wore it over uh, other shirts. So these are fun. They're just exhilaration, size medium. They would go in my 5 for 20 sale. Fun ankles. Twelve minutes in. I did three bags in my last video. Wouldn't that be awesome if I could do that again? Maybe not have to do four more videos, maybe only three. These are loft, size six. Fun pattern pants. So many pants. Oh. The skinny ankle, what are you? White House Black Market, size zero, zero. There's the White House Black Market, size zero, 00, skinny ankle with zipper bottom, 15 bucks. I guess my plus size stuff ran out already. Oh, here's an XL. Elements, size extra large, white knit pant. it again just like plus size stuff I hate taking pictures of all white stuff or all black stuff for that matter but black I can at least make it stand out a little bit <clears throat> Lane Bryant size 28 maybe some more plus size stuff 15 bucks on those. I really hate that ThreadUp only lets stuff sit for 60 days or 90 days. I feel like that's not giving clothing much of a chance. So I'm really curious how some of this stuff does. I tried to make sure the ThreadUp boxes didn't have anything too too summery or too too wintry because I don't know how long it'll take them to process and get them listed and if it takes 30 days to do that then I don't want any of the wintry stuff but it, they're gonna pull it before it's prime summertime so it's very hard to pick for the season I'm curious to see how this stuff does with them Lane Bryant size 26 28 Fun, comfy pants. I'll probably just use my thread up money from these to buy rescue lots. Um, J. Crew, size 28. 
Take the factory. And ThreadUp is only receiving stuff from these lots. Swap has stuff from before already there, so it'll be harder for me to keep track um, of how much of this stuff sells. But I'm really curious. It'd be awesome if I could make back the money that I spent, the $550, just between Swap and ThreadUp. And then everything that I'm listing myself is all bonus money, and that's the better stuff. So, a uh, new day, XXL, comfy flower pants, and yay! Okay. <coughs> Earthquake, sorry. Clothing quake. Aw, more pants. <laughs> I don't want to deal with pants. I want something fun. I saw colors in this bag. I was hoping for shirts. Studio Works, size 3X. A lot of good sizes. Swap and thread up. We're gonna get a lot of pants. A lot, a lot of pants. And I actually don't mind listing pants. They're super quick to photograph and list. Um, measurements are pretty straightforward. Lane Bryant, size 50, size something, I don't know. I don't necessarily like storing them because I use totes for the pants. So after I list them, I fold them up and put them in a clear poly bag with a label on them and then I put them in totes and the totes are kind of arranged by like when I listed them so and it's all kind of I have one that's a three month chunk of time because I just didn't list very many pants in that three months I have another tote that's like a two week period of time because I had a load like this and listed tons of pants but it's just harder because then I have to dig for the tote and um, dig through the tote and I don't know. I like hanging stuff so much easier. It's so much easier to put them away. I'll probably have to order some new clear poly bags because I don't think I have enough for this stuff. Halogen, size 6. can probably get 20 bucks on those. And Taylor, Carnegie Crop, size 2P, two petite, these are fun pattern pants. Morona, size 4, just a Target brand. These are very textured, that would drive me nuts too feeling my leg all the time and having it feel rough like that. I don't know. This is a giant bag, so I'm not sure if I will finish this and be able to start another one or not. J. Crew Mercantile, size 2. Cropped navy blue pants, 15 bucks. Linen something and Taylor Loft Marissa trouser size two. Are you 55% linen? 45% rayon. Pale blue. 20 bucks. One good thing with pants, though, is that I do sell them year-round and list them year-round, and I don't really pay much attention to season on them. Obviously, some capris that are bright and florally I might set aside for listing in spring-summer, not list in the middle of winter, but Agnes and Dora, size small-medium, fun pant. <clears throat> 
But unless they're like a hundred percent wool, I'm not as likely to wait until winter time on them. Because I have so many of the basic jeans, I did put some of them aside for next fall. Which come next fall, I'll probably send in the swap for that. But these are probably fifteen to twenty dollars. Um, these are fun. What are you? Twelve p.m. by Monami. Twelve p.m. by Monami. Size large. Pretty rose pant. Probably just a boutique brand. Not necessarily sure that it's a large, but maybe. Love Hannah, size medium. Those are pretty. Probably 12 to 15 on those. Oh look, basic blue jeans. Prana, size two. Prana does relatively well for me. $15 on that. Lane Bryant, size 26. We have gold trim going down the outside of each leg. Those are fun. Leggings, very thick. So these would be one that I might consider holding until next winter because they are so thick, but like fleece lined type leggings. Jones, New York size 8. Just black dressy chino type pant. They have fuzz all over them. Oh! Ay, ay, ay. Talbots petite size 6. Navy blue. These are, stop that. There was no sun coming in there when I started this video. These are a fun velour pant. Wow, let's see, go this way. If I go this way, then I'm subjected to that sun. No, stop, stop the light. I don't know. We'll see. Loft. Size 28. And there's no reason for the sun to be shining as bright in two different opposite sides of the house windows. That doesn't seem to make sense to me. J. Jill. Size six. Look, more basic blue jeans. Get rid of you. I really didn't intend to get another jean lot. Pistola, size 28. So many pants. These at least have fun zippers to differentiate them, I guess. What's your least favorite thing to list? I don't know if pants is necessarily, or jeans are my least favorite, but, and Taylor Loft. I also um, have a very short attention span. You may have noticed, I don't stay on track very well, ever. So for me, as easy as jeans are to list, you would think you could take pictures of 30 jeans and sit and knock them out super fast. But I just, I'll do like three of them and I'm bored with jeans and I want to move on to something else. 
Hippie Laundry Mid-Size Skinny, size 27. Kind of a olivey green color. 12 bucks. Joe Fresh, size 28. White jeans. I don't know. 15 bucks. Oh, look, more basic jeans. So slimming by Chico, size zero. Fifteen bucks. Yeah, I'm not even halfway through this bag yet. These jeans with earth pants were packed in here good. Laundry by Shelly Seagal, size six. Black and white, fun pattern pant. Democracy, size two. Those have fun embroidery on them and they are not jeans. They are like high water, or not full length jeans, I mean. And not capris, they're like right below the knee or mid calf. I guess they'd still be capris. They look more like shorts holding them up. But they have fun little flower embroidered patches on there. Calvin Klein jeans, size two. Basic jeans, get rid of you. These are funky, what are you? Zara woman, size extra small. And they have like the shorts underneath and then the rest is all see-through lace. Probably $12 on those. Definitely different. I like different. These are Banana Republic, size six. Fun green pattern, 20 bucks on those. And Taylor Loft, size four. Linen blend, I am guessing. Striped dress pants, 15 bucks on those. Joanna Barashi, size four. That's an expensive brand. I have sold it before. I don't remember how well it sold. That is not a stain on the front. That is just the shadow as I move it up and down. Oh, but those are fun. They have like a texture going down them. I don't know offhand. I'd say I could get at least 20 for them, if not more. Just because something's an expensive brand in the stores does not mean that's what I'll get for it. Candy cane, size small. Lightweight. Lounge pants, 10 bucks. New York and Company stretch, size four. Gray and pink checked pants, 15 bucks. That pattern will sell them. Gray and pink check. Somebody's gonna want those. Chico's Platinum, size one, cropped, funky, it's like acid washed, acid washed, fade out, pinstripe. Got all sorts of things going on in here. Cropped pants, 15 bucks. Oh, do I feel a security tag? Nope. Thought I felt one. These are Travelers by Chico's, size one. Comfy pants to wear on the airplane. Travelers by Chico's seem to sell better for me than regular Chico's sometimes. Some fun checkers, Talbot size 10. Tiny little checks, 
super lightweight pant, 15 bucks. These are red checked pants, Talbot size 10 also. So they bought these from the same person. I guess they're more of a pink than a red. I might just group those together and sell them together. Go a little faster that way. DKNY jeans, Soho, size 8, navy blue. But these have something stuck on the butt pocket. It's like crusted, so it's definitely surface area. I don't know what it is. Chico's size zero zero, which is about a size two. Fun like python leopard print pants, fifteen bucks. So slimming by Chico's size point five, fifteen bucks. Loft, size 2. These might have some linen in them too. But they didn't make their care tag. Oh, no. It's been cut out. So I'm guessing there is some linen in these, but I don't have the materials. Chico size zero, cropped pant, 15 bucks. Maurice's size two, grayish jean, 10 bucks. Black and gold loft size four, Marissa. Super shimmery golden. Now see, these might be something I would also set aside for winter. Um, they are thicker for one thing, but uh, they're just kind of more of a very wintry feel to them. Chico's size at zero, basic black. Oh, it's got fun little ties at the ankle. Fifteen bucks. Tommy Hilfiger, size four, pale pink pants. Thirty-three. Maybe I'll start a new bag. Banana Republic, size two, blue pants. Of course, I'm covering all of my bags, so. I can get to this one if I get through this bag fast enough. Dahlia, size four, beige dress pants. Oh, that one's new. It's got the original tag, but no price tag. 15 bucks. Oh, yay. One more bag down. Last pair. Apartment nine, straight capri, size four. I also hate selling capris, which 90% of these are, just because, I don't know, they seem to sit longer for me. And I'm gonna grab this bag. Oh, okay, got about 10 minutes, I'm gonna get through as much of this, this appears to be a lot of heavy sweaters, so probably a lot that I'm going to set aside for next fall. But Max Studio, size large. And this is fun. It looks like it has like a built-in scarf. It's kind of nice. Wait, how does it go? I don't know. Anyway, that'll go. 
in my tote for next winter. This is another thick, heavy sweater. Can't find, oh, here we go. The Limited, size large, cardigan, and it's got a tie around the waist. And guessing wool. Yep, 70% acrylic, 30% wool. And it does have some of that scratchy feel to it. But wool is warm, so. Loft, size large. Knit tank top. I'm losing my steam, can you tell? You can just watch from the start of each video to the end. I just go down now. Easel, size medium large. Beige sweater. Bongo, size large. Lightweight, sleeveless cardigan, 12 bucks, 12 bucks, 12 bucks, Adi, one size, had a couple from this brand, I haven't looked it up yet, oh, don't know what it is, but I've had several pieces in this lot, Blair, size large, for some reason, I want to say Blair is a catalog company, maybe? I don't know, but I like this. Fleecy, warm shirt for next fall. Alia, Alia, Francesca's. It's got its original tag for $44. Cold shoulder sweater for next fall. This is a nice lightweight cardigan. Laura Ashley, size petite large. Super pretty blue. And it's a like a three quarter sleeve. So I don't necessarily understand why it's petite. It's definitely longer than a typical torso, so you know, maybe they intend for it to fall below the butt and on a petite person and on a regular person it would be more at the hips. But, I mean, it's not even like they're petite because of the sleeve length. If they're three-quarter sleeves, they're going to be short no matter who has it on. Croft and Barrow, size large. That's what I hate about size petite when it comes to skirts. Okay, so it falls at a different spot but what's the difference it's not like a petite person couldn't wear a regular size skirt and a regular size person couldn't wear a petite skirt it's just going to be a little longer or shorter I don't understand mm -hmm. poof size large sorry I had to have a little coughing fit there poof Size large, sleeveless, sweater, 10 bucks. Oh my goodness. A new day, size large, sheer top, 10 bucks. Intro, size large, button down top with fun roughly sleeves 10 bucks a coat exhilaration size medium gross shoulder is completely peeling this one's just a little bit peeling pleather coat 
you're not going to worry about that one. Easel, size medium large, lightweight sweater. Oh. Charles Chang Lima. This seems like it's probably got some value to it. Now I feel like my son is shifting. <clears throat> I don't know Charles Chang Lima, but this feels super high quality. And 66% viscose, 29% nylon, 5% elastane, made in the USA. I was going to claim it's reversible, except it does have the tags in there, so you couldn't really reverse it. Oh, my. But I will definitely look this up, because that feels really good. almost done with this video just because I won't be able to talk in a few minutes and I'm sure my 45 minutes is almost up do everything in love fun cardigan reindeer on it <clears throat> new with tags relativity size large peach blouse 10 to 15 dollars not a whole lot left in this bag. <clears throat> this is Calvin Klein jeans, size large, heavy burgundy sweater. There will be something in all the stuff that I put in my pile for uh, next fall. There will be something with a security tag on it. I guarantee it. So next year I'll be like going in there and be like, this was from six months ago, but I need you to take the tag off. Shrinking violet, size large. I feel like I've heard of shrinking violet before, but I don't know. And I'm paranoid that I'm tossing some of those heavier things. No idea if there's a tag attached or not. Dex, size large. I think that's just a little boutique brand, maybe. Could be wrong. <clears throat> Almost done. Zenergy by Chico's. Brown, hooded, sleeveless vest jacket 15 bucks <clears throat> Catherine's black label size 1x <clears throat> I did not know that Catherine's had different label lines I guess I don't sell too much of her stuff mine size large fun little green cropped top 10 bucks <clears throat> so close so close so close christopher and banks <clears throat> i'm gonna guess this is a size small black sweater 10 bucks pursuits Size large, soft brown snowflake sweater, 12 bucks. <clears throat> Loft, size large, bright orange, super lightweight, sheer top, 15 bucks. I'm just going to finish this bag because there really is not that much left. Zutter, USA. This one will definitely be set aside for next fall. Merry Christmas. 
lightweight, but definitely Christmassy. Um, White House Black Market, size 8, super lightweight blouse, 12 to 15 bucks. Almost done, like three left, something like that. Wallflower, ooh, wallflower. Wallflower, size large. 15 to 20 maybe. <clears throat> London Times, size medium. Almost. <clears throat> Sanctuary, size large. And Maurice's last item in the bag, size large, lightweight, I see you, see through, cardigan. I'm going to shut down now and maybe actually shut my body down now. Oh, but anyway, that was part number six, did I say? And I got through three, three bags, so only six more to go. So maybe just two more videos if I can bust through the other ones that fast. We'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, there is a link to buy Girl Scout cookies under this video. I think there's like two and a half weeks left of cookie selling, so if you have not been asked by a friend or family and you want to get your cookie fix, go click on that link. You can also donate boxes to the military men and women, and once cookie season is over, all donated boxes will be put in care packages and shipped to all of our active military men, so I have to throw that plug in, and thank you very much for watching. Thumbs up if you haven't <clears throat> already, and be sure to subscribe, come back for more. This haul is almost over. Bye guys.